everyone, I'm Lindsay Martin. I'm from Ball State University. I'm in my dietetic internship. It's June 2011. And right now I am at the Dairy and Nutrition Council in South Bend, Indiana. And I grew up playing sports. I grew up playing golf and I grew up playing soccer. And I became a college athlete. And I didn't realize that sports nutrition was so important going into my freshman year as a, as a student athlete. And when you spend hours of your day training and then you're walking from class to class, you don't really realize how much energy you really are expending. And I wasn't aware of that my freshman year and it turned out where I had lost weight to the point where I could not play soccer anymore. And it took about three months for me just to completely stop playing recover my body the way I needed. And the only way that I was able to do that was with proper nutrition. And through guidance from professionals, I was able to play soccer again. And I know one of the biggest things that really helped me recover and play soccer again was chocolate milk. Um, after I would do um, training or anything like that, once I was able to start playing again, I would refuel with chocolate milk. It helped my body recover and it also helped me build muscle, which was exactly what I needed. So today I am just going to interview with a bunch of different professionals. We have a strength and conditioning coach. We have a head coach. Um, we have a athletic director and an athlete. And this is going to give everyone just a good perspective on why sports nutrition is so important as well as just what chocolate milk can do for athletes. And I'm here with Jason Roberson. He is the head strength and conditioning coach at Ball State University. And we're going to talk to him today about why he provides low fat chocolate milk to, the, to his athletes. So here's Jason Roberson. Thank you so much for talking with us today. You're welcome, Lindsay. And let's first hear a little bit about you and your vision for Ball State Athletes. Uh, I came to Ball State about six years ago, and when I first got here, we did not have supplementation, any sort of supplementation. Uh, we, use, we utilize supplementation in order to help our athletes recover from workouts and get ready to go. Um, and so what I needed to find was something that was inexpensive, but completely functional. It actually provided all the, the vitamins and minerals and nutri you know, nutrients that we needed. Uh, to keep our athletes recovered. And so what I found was chocolate milk was the answer. It had the sugar, it had the protein, it had the fat, it had the carbohydrates, it had everything that our athletes needed, you know, and it was a very inexpensive source of, of those nutrients. That is so great, and that is so true about chocolate milk. And why is recovery so important for training? Recovery is important for training in that what we do in the weight room breaks the body down. It doesn't actually make you better. Uh, it's when you go home and you sleep and you recover is when you start to get better. And so it's important for our athletes to get proper nutrition in their body as soon as possible after a workout in order to help promote that recovery. And so with the chocolate milk, they need those carbohydrates immediately after workout and they need the proteins immediately after workout. Uh, and most likely they're going to be low on sodium and potassium and chocolate milk provides that as well amazingly, mm -hmm. you know. And so it's one of those things where it's like it provides everything we need. And if, we, if I get proper nutrition into them and I get the proper amount of nutrition into them between workouts, they're going to recover faster. And then when they recover from a workout, I can work them harder next time. Perfect, perfect. And how have your athletes responded to the chocolate milk? Favorably. Uh, it's a treat. It's fun. For them, they don't really know, most of them don't really know the importance of the chocolate milk. I mean, we try to stress it, we try to talk about it on a regular basis, but they don't really know what, why they're taking it. They just know that they get a nice sweet treat after you know each workout, and it's fun for them. And it's good. So the kids are extremely responsive to the to getting receiving chocolate milk. Um, but again, I don't think they know exactly why they're taking it. Right. Sports, I guess, um, are are drinking this chocolate milk. We provide chocolate milk to all of our athletes, from golf to swimming to football, or not football, but basketball and baseball. Mm -hmm. uh, we we provide it to all 17 Olympic sports. As the recovery process, have you seen? any changes in your athletes from when you first got here to now? Anecdotally, obviously we didn't do a study on this, but anecdotally what I've seen is uh, we have a fewer number of kids who are, uh, not to say sick, but like it's just the normal illnesses, you know, the common cold type situation. The colds seem to be lasting shorter amount of times. They don't seem to be getting as frequently. 
you know, things of that nature, you know, those are typically signs of overtraining. We know, you know, yeah. when the kids reach those depths and, you know, their, their nutrition's not there, uh, you start to take on these upper respiratory tract infections and stuff of that nature. We're not seeing those nearly as often as we used to before when I first got here. And so little things like that. Now, as far as, like, uh, competition goes, competition is such a skill base, it's, high, it's really hard to quantify whether or not they're getting better, you know, as far as competition-wise. But we can definitely see weight workout-wise and recovery-wise that what we're doing is paying off. That is so awesome. And would you recommend chocolate milk to all athletic programs? Do you Absolutely. It's, it's such a simple thing to take in, and it's inexpensive. You know, you have a lot of programs who are, you know, they want the best thing, and so the best thing is surely based on marketing as opposed to actually what's in the content inside. You know, if you look at the content of chocolate milk and you look at the content of the best, you know, recovery shake, it's the exact same thing. You have protein, and all of them use whey protein. That's what milk is. It's just right. whey protein. And it has, milk has another protein, which is the caseinate protein, which is another great type of protein that most recovery, you know, workout, or uh, the, the, you know, recovery shakes, they don't have the casein protein. So now you're getting a double whammy with the with the chocolate milk that you don't get normally. Uh, and then it has the same vitamins and minerals, has everything in there you need. And so with the chocolate milk, it's such an inexpensive, easy to use, easy to supply, you know, process for you. My name is Walt Ballard. I'm currently the athletic director at South Bend Riley High School. Uh, I'm a graduate of the United States Naval Academy and Wharton School of Business. And I've been the athletic director here at Riley for two and a half years. That is so awesome. And why do you think Adequate nutrition is important for your athletes. We place a lot of demands on our athletes, not only as athletes, but as student athletes. They get to the school at about 7 o'clock in the morning, uh, start classes at 7.45, and then at 3 o'clock we expect them to go out and be prepared to compete at a very high level, uh, which our athletic conference demands. Uh, with that, you have to not only have adequate rest, but you have to have the fuel in your body to be able to go out and compete at the high levels that we ask. We train, we train all year round with weightlifting, we have cardiovascular fitness, and all that requires a certain level, level of stamina and uh, a certain level of nutrition to support that stamina. And I noticed that you have a vending machine that supplies milk and why do you provide the chocolate milk to your students and athletes? Well nu nutrition is is a complete subject. You can't just talk about stocking stores and expect people to eat lunch at say 11 o'clock in the morning and still be able to perform and then recover so they can come back and do it the next day. And what re research has shown us, and this was brought to us by a couple of our coaches, research shows that milk, in particular chocolate milk with the sugars and the proteins and the fats in it, provide an outstanding if not the best resource for the body after a strenuous workout. It helps repair the muscles, it helps get the sugar stores back up, and helps them recover so that they can go on and not have lingering injuries, so that they can recover and do their homework later, so they can recover and still continue to perform. What is your vision for your athletes in regards to nutrition and performance? Well, what we would like to do is, is ideally, we would like to start out and at the time that they get out of school, which is about 3 o'clock, uh, give them a small snack so that they can have ready stores for their um, activities after school. Please understand that we have athletes that start their lunch periods at about 10 o'clock in the morning. And if you figure that they've had a breakfast at about 7, then they eat at 10, then they can, an athlete, particularly say a wrestler or a football player, could go from 10.30 in the morning until 7.30 at night without anything to recover with. What we would like to do is provide them with some type of protein, some type of carbohydrates right after school, and then allow them to go through their strenuous workouts, whether that be, again, wrestling, football, basketball, the running and lifting that they would do, and then go in and have some type of recovery. And that recovery for us would be chocolate milk. It's a low cost, it's a very price effective alternative, and it provides more nutrition than the things that you could get from a Gatorade or some of the other sports drinks, uh, and it provides something that's very sound and that, that people are familiar with. I teach at South Bend Riley High School. I'm the cross country coach, the boys and girls track coach, uh, and I teach PE and health here at Riley as well. Why do you think adequate nutrition is important for your athletes? Well, especially for me, like I said, I coach, I'm, I mainly coach endurance athletes, and uh, a lot of my kids think they're young and that they're being active so they don't have to have proper nutrition. And obviously, like I said, that's just not true. Um, you know, some of my kids are doing 50, 60 mile weeks in training. So it's been something that, that we picked up and we ice bath at the end of every practice. So chocolate milk's been something we kind of, we get our chocolate milk and then we go ice bath. Um, and then we try to get some kind of carbohydrate snack uh, 
along with that. It's worked out really well so far. The kids really like the chocolate milk. It's easy. It's an easy sell because uh, who doesn't like chocolate milk? So it's been a, it's worked well for us. Right. And so have your athletes, have you seen a difference in their performance since they've started drinking for the sure. milk? For sure. I think the biggest difference is recovery. Like I said, a lot of kids lately just feel better, um, even the hours afterwards, after we're done with our hard workouts. And the next day, especially, is that better. we can have a better understanding of our bodies and, and, and how to make it perform better. So. That's awesome. And if your athletes were to say one thing or two things about chocolate milk, what do you think they would say? Uh, well, first, they're still kids. I mean, they're still teenage kids. So most of the time, they think it tastes great. And so for them, they think it tastes great. And... Um, like I said, I think some of them have even said the same thing. They noticed their recovery is better, um, especially in the half hour. We used to try to take it within 20, 30 minutes of the workout, and they really noticed that there's, uh, they just feel Hi, better. my name is Imani Ballard, and I attend Riley High School. I'm a sophomore, and I'm involved in three athletic sports. What sports are you involved with? I was recently in volleyball, but I'm doing golf next year. I also play basketball. Drinking this chocolate milk made a positive difference for your performance and sport? Surprisingly, yes. Um, when I was little, I used to drink Gatorade, and I got tired a lot quicker. I got, I don't know how to say it. You just got fatigued? Yes. Okay. And then I started drinking chocolate milk when we have got the machine here, and I, could, I had a lot more stamina. And then when I got done and I drank the chocolate milk, I was able to stay up and do my homework. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> wonderful. So not only did it help you right after with your performance in sport, and recover your muscles, but it also helped you with your studies. Yes. Okay. That is so awesome because studies are so important because you're a student athlete, you know, yeah. it's not like just you're an athlete. And why will you continue to fuel up or recover with chocolate milk in the future? It's the best thing out there. <laughs> <laughs> Drink your milk because when you get my age, you'll need it a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much.